Welcome to She's Crafted to Thrive. I'm your host, Nikita Williams, and this show is for all the ladies who are making and creating things that they love. You will hear conversations about the real everyday struggles of juggling life and business while trying to maintain passion and harmony. As women, we have the skill of getting things done, but sometimes we get in our own way. It's here where you'll see that you're not alone. You'll discover that success does not mean perfection. Fear and negative thoughts and challenges are all a part of the journey. And on this podcast, you'll find the inspiration and tools you need to have a life and business that thrives. Welcome back to the She's Crafted to Thrive podcast. I am so excited that you're here. I'm Nikita, your host, mindset business coach, and um, just overall cheerleader of where you are in your journey and hoping to give you some tips and tools to help you continue to grow and thrive. This episode is going to be short and sweet. I am going to be completely (laughs) transparent. I am a bit crazy right now. I have so many things happening in the in the back works or in the works, work backs. I don't even know. There's a lot of things happening um, in my business and in life. And I want to give you permission. So this episode really is just to give you permission to slow down and make sure that you're making very purposeful and and an intentional action in your business. And sometimes that means, you know, saying no to something. Sometimes that means um, pressing pause. Sometimes that means pivoting. And sometimes that means letting something go. And no, this is not an episode to say I'm letting the podcast go because as you guys know, I love this. <laughs> but this is... Um, a podcast to say that we all survived so far a pandemic that is still ravaging the world. And here we are a year and almost a year and a half later. And I don't know about you, but besides surviving so far in this world with a pandemic, um, there's been a lot of emotional growth and the growth means a lot of push and pull and for myself personally in my own personal journey as well as in my business and my business has really um kind of metamorphosed or transformed in a lot of different ways to be more clear and intentional and so over the last 6 months I've really been working on clarifying what I'm doing in my life and in my business so that they can feel way more aligned and simple And I encourage you to look at your business and your life and see if there's a way to simplify what you're doing so that you can live the life you really want and you can build the dream and and be able to sustain it for the long haul. And I feel like we need to like totally um, make this conversation more um, prevalent or talk about this more. We hear a lot of coaches and a lot of different um, brands talking about hustle culture and, you know, you got to keep going and consistency is the key. Um, And I do believe consistency is the key, but it is in a reflection of what your life really is. So consistency to me is about finding um, what consistency looks like to you, but consistency also can mean taking a moment and time to pause, um, to refocus, realign. Um, I think about this in the in the concept of watching like races. Um, obviously, we're around that Olympic time frame. If you've been watching any of the Olympics, and I was watching this amazing woman run women in general um, the other day on Facebook because I don't like watch it live, but I was watching it and I could not help but be like, man, the training and the time and the effort it takes to get to the line to even run the race. There has been a lot of hurdles. There have been a lot of um, push and pull. There has been a lot of times where you had to maybe pause or reflect, but ultimately you never gave up. And now you're here at this moment in your life, right? At this race to run this less than two minute race, less than five minute race to do it again, right? To start, finish and do it again. And I feel like sometimes in our businesses, 
we hear a lot about this race that is never, ever over. And I do think there are seasons in our life and seasons in our businesses where we can take, we can have a finish line. We can say, you know what, at this point in my life, at this point in my business, I'm ready to pause and refocus and reshift or um, realign or get more intentional, simplify things, all of that jazz. And sometimes that's really hard to do when you're trying to go at the same speed as you have always gone in order to get into the path or the the season in which you really are getting ready for. So I give that illustration and the analogy because um, nobody knows what it is that you're going through. Nobody understands all the the challenges, the ups and downs, only you do. And there's a power in having your own business. There's a power in making a choice who you wanna serve, how you wanna serve them, how you wanna show up, who your ideal client is, how you're gonna market, all of that. And I know a lot of gurus will tell you that um, you start making content, you start creating and doing all of these things according to what your audience needs and wants. And that is true in part, right? But ultimately, you decide who your audience is and who you want to serve and when you want to serve them. And over time, when you have really honed in what that like path looks like for you and your audience, it shouldn't be a push and pull. It should really be a lovely, even yoke, an even um, sustainable joy full and easy in a way type of place that you are doing what you do for the people that you want to work with. So this episode, I'm just here to tell you it's okay to slow down. It's okay to press pause. So it's okay to stop. It's not okay to quit, right? Maybe pivoting is changing and doing something completely different. Um, but quitting means we kind of given up on everything, but I do believe it's okay. And I do think it's the permission we give ourselves that if pivoting means we're doing something completely different, doesn't mean that we quit. It doesn't mean that we failed. It means we've decided that that chapter, that book, that, that, that book is over and you're starting a new book, or maybe you're starting a new chapter in your life, in your business. And that's okay. So I'm saying that all to say is that this episode, there will be one more episode before the end of the season, um, of season two, which is crazy. While I do a little bit of reorganizing in my own personal business, there is a lot of growth and simplicity happening, which means things are going to kind of look a little bit differently, but still mean the same in a lot of different ways. And I can't wait for you guys to see it all. And so the podcast is going to stay the same. So when it comes back, which which should be in the fall, unless, you know, life happens, <laughs> but it will be in the fall. Season three, we will be back. We'll be featuring some women who I have worked with over the past year or two. They're going to be featured um, in all of that jazz. There's going to be one more episode that comes out after this one that I would love for you guys to tune in because it's a really great resource that I feel that... Um, if you're looking to reach a new audience and really connect with um, uh, ideal clients that are not necessarily already in your wheelhouse, I think this is a really great opportunity for you to um, use a tool over the summer to really make connections with the right kind of people that you want to serve and work with. Um, so that will be one last episode before the end of the season two. And season three will be coming out probably in October. September is my anniversary month. I will have been married for, oh my goodness, for, well, we're 13 years. So we'll be going into our 14 year anniversary, but we will be married for 13 years. I love my man. He's amazing. And the business will be in a different place. So I cannot wait. There's so much, but I found for myself that in order for me to do this pivot, there were some things I was going to have to like lay down for a little bit. (laughs) And the podcast was one of those things. And I really didn't want to, but it is the thing that makes the most sense. And I also want to empower you to be able to make those type of decisions by saying it up front. That's what's happening. That's what's going on in the podcast world. But be sure to follow us on Instagram as she's crafted to thrive podcasts. Um, we, I have 
created that as an Instagram page just for us to talk about all things podcast. So there's going to be new posts out there. Um, please continue to support this. There are so many amazing conversations. If you haven't gone and listened to all of the ones that we've done this season, you definitely want to do that. Um, you may get like sporadically once a month, some um, re replays, if you will, as like, hey guys, just want to pop in here and just give you an update on where we are in our new pivot path to growth, if you will, um, and then share an episode that I really feel like aligns with where we are going that we've already recorded that's from previous seasons. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you. And I wanted to do it. I was really hesitant, but I, I know this audience here is amazing. And I know you guys understand the process of growing and the process of finding your place, finding your voice and finding your power and really stepping into that. And I hope this podcast in general has done that. I cannot wait to hear from you guys and hear what kind of takeaways or what things you're going through and what kind of transitions you are going through um, this year or even last year. And um, stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned because we have one more episode in the season for sure. And it's featuring a tool that I think is just pivotal for um, creative entrepreneurs, especially those who have product and service based businesses um, to really reach an audience with just giving a little bit of love to some others um, for free. All right, love. So as always, remember that, yes, yes, you are crafted to thrive. And I'm so privileged that you have chosen to be on this journey with me. And I can't wait to hear from you guys soon. All right, have a beautiful day.